Boom! Hello everybody! Welcome to a tutorial. Another very epic code tutorial. I haven't done one in a very long time. And I also don't have any editing software anymore, so kind of like ignore my stuttering. And if I mess up, then that is my apology. But, <clears throat> in today's tutorial, we are going to be making a CV2 parkour respawn and checkpoint system. So instead of using CV1 checkpoints and respawn points, we're going to be using CV2 and all that other amazing stuff. So what we want to do is get a vector3 variable. Vector, oh, can't type. Vector3 variable right there. I'm just going to put it on this wall. Vector3 variable. We're going to set the name so we remember it. Save checkpoint. P position can't type wow okay it can be a cloud variable if you really want it to save between like instances so someone could leave and then come back and then this would still be the exact same value as it was but right now it's zero 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 and now we're gonna make the respawn system we're gonna get local player get local player chip get position chip we're gonna wire it to that vector that vector three split boom so I move this a little bit closer keep it all bunched up and then we want to get less or equal or less than doesn't really matter but we can do less or equal And then this is going to be the lowest Y coordinate that you can go. So right now, my Y coordinate is 17.99924. Very specific, but that doesn't really matter this, how specific it is. It just needs to be below a certain amount. So since my Y coordinate is 17, yours is going to be different based on how high you are from world origin. And based on how high the welcome at is, there's no welcome at here. That's sad. But you're going to want to set is float value to the lowest point that a player can go until they get respawned. So we're gonna make a small parkour set up above here. Ooh, so cool. I haven't been here in a very long time. So this is gonna be our parkour set. Pretend this is like an, your starting area with the welcome mat. So you'd have your welcome mat here. Probably use the CV2 one because it's cooler and also has the visual area. So pretend this is the parkour. And to log, if you really don't know your lowest Y coordinate, you'd want to get a vector component. I'm going to turn off surface snap so I can snap to it right here. I think I don't want players going below this point. So if they fall by this point, they would be respawned. So what you want to do is get a simple get position wired up to this very top port right here and then just hover over with the connect and right there it says 21 in the middle number because it's xyz so the y coordinate is 21 but i'm going to do lower because this circuit is at y18 so i'm going to do if y coordinate is less than 10 because if you have if you're supposed to be respawning somewhere and the respawn position is less than your lower lowest point you will get soft locked so you do not want to mess it up you gotta follow this very carefully so what you, what you what you should do is an equals for this and an if value and then get another vector get a vector three create hook it up to the equals and keep these at zero, zero, zero. So if basically if this vector variable is zero, 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 hook up this Boolean value to the if value Boolean right here, make the then. So we're going to go up and get a get position. This is why you want a CV2 welcome at so you can use easily use these ports, hook up this position to this then, and the else will be the save checkpoint position. <clears throat> Ooh, how scary. So, now we're gonna get an event receiver. We're gonna configure it to use update 30 hertz. And we're gonna do an if right here. 
if your y coordinate is less than 10 and then do respawn and then make it so it respawns the local player and the position will be this if value thing right here so it's using the position of the welcome mat because my um my save checkpoint position is zero 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 which is below the 10 so it'll soft lock me if it respawns me at zero 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 which will be very bad and then for the rotation you can do local player gaze direction so basically if i'm facing this way and i get respawned i'll still be facing this way So if we wired everything up right, we play on this parkour. Oh, I fell. Oh no, I'm so bad. There we go. I just got respawned. So now we have the respawn system set up. Now we're going to get the, um, I forgot. <laughs> we have the respawn done. So now we're going to make it so you can save your checkpoint. So what you'd want to do, the easiest and most simplest way to do it, so you get a trigger volume and then let's just make this little thingy right here a checkpoint this is all you need is a trigger volume so you don't need to get a respawn point like cb1 respawns and if you have the pivot on the pivot should be in the center it is always will always be in the center and that is where you're going to respawn after you, you'll see why well we're going to do a get position we're going to get position of this trigger volume and we're going to go back and get our save checkpoint position variable. And then once this, once the local player enters, it will set the save position variable to the position of the trigger volume. So if I go back here and I play, I play, I set my checkpoint and then I fall. It should respawn me if I wired everything right. Yep. The welcome mats over here. Trigger volume is right here, and that's basically how you do it. You can clone these three chips as many times as you want. You can also just whatever is in this variable, so you can use it to like set the position to whatever you want. So I can set my checkpoint. You don't need to do this. You also don't need to type very badly like I do. So I can just basically set my checkpoint to whatever is part of this vector. So I can make my I can make my checkpoint 3,323 on the Z coordinate, which I don't think will work in Rec Room. But basically, whatever goes into this variable is whatever your checkpoint's gonna be. So that's basically the entire tutorial. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing your amazing parkour games that you make using this amazing circuits and. Uh, if you like this, make sure to leave a like and share it with your friends. And if you have any CV2 requests, leave them in the comments and I will try my best to get to them. But yeah, thank you so much for watching my amazing video and I will see you next time. Probably, hopefully. Goodbye!